The Wyoming Game and Fish Department inspected more than 65,000 watercraft this past boating season in their efforts to keep out aquatic invasive species like zebra and quagga mussels from the state's waters. Wyoming is one of the few states in the country not to have quagga and zebra mussels. 65,567 boat inspections occurred statewide in 2022, down from 68,140 last year. But high-risk inspections jumped from 4,187 last year to 4,747 this year. 58 boats were discovered with mussels at Wyoming check stations this year, up from 54 last year. The increase in high-risk inspections was largely due to the discovery of zebra mussels in South Dakota's Pactola Reservoir, 27 miles from the Wyoming border. That's the closest to Wyoming zebra mussels have been detected. It's especially concerning because many boaters visit waters on both sides of the state line. Collaboration with Wyoming Department of State Parks and Cultural Resources helped increase compliance by the public to stop at required watercraft check stations at Keyhole and Glendo Reservoirs. AIS check stations are the first line of defense against invasives entering the state. Any watercraft transported into Wyoming from March 1st through November 30th must undergo a mandatory inspection by an authorized inspector prior to launching. Any watercraft coming from a water infested with zebra or quagga mussels within the last 30 days is required to undergo a similar mandatory inspection prior to launching during all months of the year. All watercraft must stop at any open watercraft check station on their route of travel even if they're not intending to launch in Wyoming. The Evanston Port of Entry continues to be the busiest check station in Wyoming. 20,422 boats were inspected there this year. Glendo Reservoir had 8,052 inspections. The Game and Fish will ramp up inspections along Wyoming's eastern border next year. Two new check stations going in at Lusk and Newcastle. And they'll also be hiring inspectors for the 2023 boating season. A 40-hour-per-week position. Training will be provided. Go to the Game and Fish website or call the Game and Fish office in your region to learn more. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.